So I made it out to LA nice and early, as you guys may be able to tell. I'm heading to Grand Central Market right now for some lunch. It's like one of my favorite places out here because they have so many different um, options and places to eat. That's actually it right there. It's a cool little place to walk around. It's like a little indoor market. They have a cool small little brewery in there. All different types of food, ice cream. So I'll show you guys around there in a minute when I cross the street. But uh, yeah, gonna out here have lunch. Gonna meet up with my friend Emily. Some of you guys may know her. She's the in-game host for uh, the Dodgers. So you might see her at the games if you guys go. Um, I know Dodgers Twitter is getting familiar with her, so gonna have some lunch, hang out a little bit, and then head on over to the game early as always. But uh, let me pause this so I can actually turn the camera around and show you guys what this place is like. Right, so I just got in. Um, it's always pretty packed in here, so it's not like it's the easiest to find a seat, but I still will always recommend coming here. Got a pasta bar. I mean, they literally have like all different types of food you can think of. I'm like one of those people, sticky rice, that once I find a certain food I like, of course tacos, I'm sure they're bomb. But once I find a uh, the food I like, I don't really ever change it. And so um, every time I come here, I get tostada because they're freaking delicious. And like I said, I don't like to change anything, but they've got falafels. Look at this. I love cheese too. Got all different kinds of cheese. Looks like, yeah. Um, okay, so they have Golden Road Brewing. That's what it is. It's right up there. Mole. Yeah, you can come up here, grab a beer. Coffee, of course, everywhere has coffee. And then this is the oyster little place. Um, got Chinese food. Like almost anything you can think about, they've, they've got here. Okay, so cool. Oh, here's the different oysters. This place is like walking distance from the stadium. I think it's only a few miles though. Um, and there's plenty of like $8 parking that's all day, or at least until 5 p.m. So you can come here, probably find free parking somewhere and then just like Uber to the game if you want, have a couple beers. But it's like a cool little market. This is my place. Where I eat every time. Got some candy, more fruit, fresh fruit. Look, you can even get jewelry. Have a bakery and cafe. This line right here is always, I think that's the line, I don't know. There's always a really stupid long line here um, for the ice cream. I've yet to try it because, like I said, it's a stupid long line every time I come. I have a little bakery, a juicery, um, 
sausages, prawns. Now this place has a long ass line. But I've even got an egg slut here, so pretty much the whole thing. You can walk down the middle. I just walked around the outside, but there's more stuff down there too. So I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna eat, meet up with Emily, and then I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. All right, so just got my tostada. That is so bomb. It was like 10 bucks. And she got the guac and chips. You wanna say hi? Yes, no. That's Emily. Some of you guys know her. Some of you don't, but you will. So, I'm going to eat now. Come try this place. What is it called? This place. Yeah. Come check it out. All right. So, um, I made it to the stadium, like, stupid early. But that's just because I got out here early, had nothing to do. Um, Emily has to get ready for work tonight in the stadium, so drop her off. And I came over to the stadium just to get my parking spot and decided to walk down Sunset Boulevard because, I don't know, it's better than sitting in my car for the next hour. Just see what's around here, see what to do. I might try to see if there's a bar somewhere. It seems like there's bars, but everybody suggests shortstop that doesn't open until 5, which kind of sucks because that would have been cool to go check out. But yeah. As you guys can see, right now I'm just walking around, so if I find something to do, I'll let you guys know. If not, I'll be up there for BP, and I will catch up with you guys then. So one of the cool things about walking down Sunset is uh, a lot of the artwork you'll see on the buildings, billboards, everything is the Dodgers, and here's one, which you see kind of a lot of places. I think Sportsnet LA is shown it. It's, people take pictures of it all the time, but it's pretty, go it's pretty cool. You got Fernando. We've got Gibson. Um, so yeah, if you just walk down Sunset Boulevard, uh, this is if you're coming down from the stadium, you'd make a left onto Sunset Boulevard. This is where that would be. Uh, maybe five to 10 minute walk down, then it's on your left-hand side. You can't really miss it. Uh, it's across, the, across from this place. There's also a cool Fernando one, but I won't see that one until my way back. So I'll uh, get a video of that one when I head back. Gonna keep walking down a little bit more. Gates open in an hour, so just trying to entertain myself. But I'll show you guys the uh, other Fernando one when I walk by it. So here's the other Fernando one I was telling you guys about. Uh, goes down his leg. My phone decided to shoot vertical when I came over here to do this, so I don't feel like walking over there, even though it's only a few more feet. I want to get up to the stadium, but. He's over here, the other one's across the street somewhere over there. And then uh, that right there is Guisados. I've eaten there before. They have some of the best tacos I've ever had. And I think they their specialty is because like they make their uh, handmade tortillas. So the tortillas were even just bomb on their own. But. Um, I've been told by a couple people there's a bar down here called Shortstop. It's a great place, I guess, to pregame for Dodger fans. They don't open until 5, so I can't go check it out. But if you're able to get parking down here and want to have a couple beers before walking up at the 7-10 game, I've been told that place is pretty good. And then El Compadre, I heard that one's pretty good as well. I don't know the area all that well. I'm trying to learn it as I get here early enough and can walk down sunset but those are just a couple places that I've been told are pretty cool to check out so I'm gonna walk up to the stadium now and I will uh, catch up with y'all when I get in there so I just got out to BP and this is something a little different I haven't seen all season they uh, are stretching as a team in a circle kind of like you learn at a young age so looks like they're out here trying some different stuff and trying to uh, figure out something different, anything at this point to get on a winning streak. So who knows? We'll see if this will get it done, but all the guys are out here stretching.
guys. It's UCLA night. I don't like UCLA. I'm a USC fan, but I know there's plenty of you that are UCLA fan, so just trying to show you their, what they're doing. Which ruined Nancy Los Angeles Dodgers all time home run leader? Is it A, Todd Field? some trivia right now. B, Jackie Robinson. C, Eric Harris. Or D, Duke Snyder. So as soon as you have those answers, hold them up. Pretty sure that's Eric Harris. Looks like everyone has their answers up. The correct answer is C, Eric Harris. So if anyone had that C up there, you are one for one. Question number two. Oh, this is a tricky one. What does the color blue represent for UCLA? Troy I have no Lincoln's idea. Eyes. I don't like UCLA, B, like I already said. C, the sky like my D, hate for UCLA is pretty close under the Giants. All right, Bruins, I expect all of you to get this one right. Come on. Letters are up, and the answer is B, the ocean and local wildflowers. Some of you are looking a little confused about that one. <laughs> Question number three now. How many former Bruin baseball players are on the current Dodger player and coaches? Uh, Lee and Roberts, I think. One. As far as B2, I know, that's it. C3, but I might be wrong. Or D, none of them. It looks like we are all agreeing on this one. The answer is two. They're in my way. All right. I'm going to get ready for the game now. Hopefully, I've got plenty of stuff to show you guys tonight. All right, so I had no idea that these were available again. Um, these are the chicken bites tossed in buffalo sauce with blue cheese crumbles. A um, couple years ago, they had, I think, a helmet one that had a, I think it was fries, buffalo, buffalo sauce, fries, and a, blue cheese and blue cheese crumbles and I have like I love blue cheese so I'm excited to eat these I'm sure they'll be bomb it's 12 bucks which isn't bad because it's a lot of chicken so we'll see how it goes well somebody just got injected Matt Kemp just got injected get it Matt we need some damn fire in this team that's your attention please now pitching Roberts you need to get ejected too Come on, throw them all out. Get this team pumped up. And Matt's so classic. I love that he's actually, you know what? Did they kick Matt out? Yeah, they threw Matt out. You didn't see him do the arm toss? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Yeah, he did. I was looking down at Matt, and then I thought, I knew Matt was that. He looked so much better than he had a ball all the way around home. And he threw his Matt in the dugout. Guys, I don't know what the hell is going on. We just lost the Reds again. Six to two. Like, it's just, it's not ending. It's... I mean, I usually am always very positive at games. Um, and if I'm not in a good mood, I just won't say anything. And I'm not yelling at the Dodgers, of course. Like, I'm just yelling out loud when the Reds do something well because it's frustrating. But I'm not, like, yelling at any players or cussing or anything like that. I just actually, yeah. But, no, it's never, like, directed at. Um, where did I park? It's not like directed at the Dodgers or the Dodgers players. It's more so like when a Dodger, well, I guess it's a little directed at the Dodgers, but like, anyways, this doesn't matter. Um, we suck right now, really bad. I, I don't even like know how else to put it. Maeda, it just is getting rocked out there on the mound. The offense is struggling. Um, a lot of the strikeouts they had tonight, I was looking at at bat to see where they were and a lot of them were strikes. I could see though why the players were getting upset because it was a huge strike zone. Like they were at the top of the box and at the abs like completely at the bottom. So I can I can see why players get pissed off because it was a huge strike zone and that's never easy to deal with. Um Max Muncie had a hell of a game. He had both runs that were 
in the game. Um, but it, it's hard. Everybody's still striking out. Cody's still striking out. You can tell that they are really having a hard time. And uh, it's, it seems like a mental game for all of them right now. Like, they're all struggling. And you can tell how upset they are and how bothered they are by all of it. Um, so just got to do our best to support them and do what we can. I, I don't really have much to say. It was a bad game. You all probably heard, saw it, saw it on Twitter, whatever it may be. Um, so, yeah. But I did get to meet Scott Warner. He's a cool guy. Him and his him and his wife were here tonight. If you are on Twitter and see this, I guarantee you know who he is. A uh, big part of Dodgers Twitter. So it was great to meet him. And speaking of Twitter, tomorrow we actually have our Twitter game at the stadium. So there's going to be like, I think, 20 to 30 of us all from Twitter, pretty much none of us have met, except for maybe a couple of us have met a couple of the other people. But we're all gonna hang out tomorrow. We're gonna be in the same, uh, we're gonna be in the same section, same row, and we're just gonna enjoy the game tomorrow. And it's the alumni game, so hopefully that'll be fun. Uh, get to see a lot of the 1988 players and older players playing tomorrow, so that should be somewhat enjoyable. And then the 60th anniversary hat giveaway is tomorrow. But more so than anything, I'm excited to meet everybody from Twitter. I think it'll be cool. Uh, so if you're going to be out here tomorrow, can't wait to meet you. If not, I'll get plenty of that stuff on my blog. I even think Let's Be Frank podcast is going to be out here. So we're going um, to have some fun up there. No matter if the Dodgers win or lose, we're going to have a good time. Stripling's on the mound tomorrow. I Let's get a win, I guess. Let's just, let's do something different tomorrow. I don't know what it is at this point, but let's score some runs. Let's beat the Reds. Let's tie this series, or not tie it, but let's end this series in a tie. So, all right, guys, I'm going to head home now, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.